Hello and welcome to Modern Toy Fair's Top 10. I'm your host, the founder of the NECA Illuminati, the delayer of shipments, arguably, the YouTube wife, Mrs. Modern Toy Fair, Jamar underscore games. And today I'm bringing you the continuation to my personal top 10 Playmates TMNT Raphael figure. That's not right. I read his notes, but you get the point. This here is all about Raph. Um, make sure to let me know in the comments if you agree with my top 10, if you disagree with my top 10, and also check out the Michelangelo video that I have on there. You can just like and subscribe for more Toy Fair related content. Yeah, I'm rusty. All right, <laughs> All right with, uh, without further ado, let's just get this going. Um, I didn't really set many parameters this time for myself. I took all the shackles of what Playmate line I'm going to stick with. I'm just doing Playmate figures in general. So this makes things a little bit easier and lets me get some odd choices on the list here. So let's just start this out. Uh, my first up, we're going to kick off number 10. I have, of course, Raphael, because that's who I'm doing, from the Cave Turtle lineup. This guy, first of all, didn't even know it existed as a child. Didn't know this was even a thing because I didn't get a lot of vehicles as a kid. And this here came with the cool, like, uh, pterodactyl thing, uh, one of the dinosaurs. But anyways, I picked this one at my top 10 because when I did come across this, this is one of my kind of favorite designs be for a very specific reason. Um, it's because it's weird and Playmate just totally like dedicated themselves to the weirdness. Uh, one of the fun things with this is it is a different scale from the other turtles, which you'll kind of see as I go further. But I like it. I like that it's small. Makes sense because it's a caveman. That's pretty cool. So I do have the accessories from this. Contrary to belief, or belief I don't throw them all the way. But yeah, that is my number 10. Let me know if you like that. Mm, cool guy. All right. That was a cool pick. That's something a little bit interesting. Now we're going to get into some really, really fun things. So for this one, I have the Universal Monster, the Mutant. And this is from the second wave in the line. I'm just going to put those little lobster hands out like this as I rotate them around so you guys can check it out. Um, first, I have to admit, I have never watched the Mutant. Nor do I know if that is the name of the movie that this uh, monster even stars in, to be honest with you. But the Universal Monster line has been some of my favorite Ninja Turtles, even going now to NECA stuff that we have coming out, partly because it allows for some really weird things. Look at that. Look at that brain. So this one hits what I like to call the Peak Playmate. And Peak Playmate could mean two things when I say it. One, they're just cash grabbing and making trash. But two, it could be they are making and fully committed to their designs. And this was Peak Playmates in a good way. So you got really bright pink veins on there. If you can, hopefully my camera is picking this up in the right color. But um, still has the red bandanas and all that stuff on there. But just look at the detailing. The veins look so, so weird and creepy. And then you can see the detail on like the brain. Again, I have no context for what this monster is, but I have always just enjoyed this figure from Raphael. So that is going to make my number nine. Um, now it's time for number eight. Number eight on the list. Uh, I think I would say that this is controversial, partly because... It's based on one of the like worst TMNT related things to even appear on TV. It's based on the next mutation. So this is the next mutation figure. Uh, this is the Thrasher. And the Thrashers basically were next mutated. Uh, next mutation figures, they released shortly after like the basic line, but they had a cool little skateboard. And it's motorized and whatnot. Well, not this one, but in Team and T Cannon. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I I just really like this figure because again, it is a very sweet blend of weird and wacky. 
And what I mean by that is you have like the jujitsu pants. I don't think that's the quite the exact same term, but they're like cut off and looped. You've seen like the samurai wear these before or whatnot. He's rocking a black leather vest because, you know, he's a thrasher. He's got to be like brash in 90s. My loose figure is missing the piece here of his wavy bandana. But if you look at that, it's so cool. It has like little cut marks on it and stuff. Although the TV show was very odd and kind of like jarring as a child, the figures are so cool. Also, there's a little nod to Michael here. He's got a lot of bandages wrapped around him. And that's just kind of cool itself. So I really, really thoroughly enjoy this. And again, this is, a, if you are following the theme here, this is the fun side of playmate. This is the, the good, let's make some weird designs and let's see if it works. And this one worked for me. So that is ended up on my number eight. Number eight. Number eight. All right. Now we have number seven. And Michael's going to add uh, the voiceover effects with like the echo and make it sound really cool each time I say the number that I'm on. Hopefully you guys enjoy that in the video. Uh, but <laughs> for my number seven, I have the tune line head spinning Raphael. Now, from a design aspect, pretty basic, pretty simple turtle. So you probably are wondering why this is on here, because this isn't really weird outside of that creepy ass smile. It's not weird. But this one is on my list solely for emotional purposes. So this isn't my original figure, but back in the day when I was a little kid, I had this toy and I spent, let's see if I can get this to actually do it, spent hours spinning this head in the back seat of my mom's car. Um, it's just, it was like my fidget spinner at the time. So when I think of a quintessential childhood figure, this thing actually is on the list. So again, not the craziest or coolest design, but how could I make a list of top 10 Playmate figures and not have this on there? So cool. I feel like I'm just like, yeah, cool design. That's the things I like. And I'm putting this on my list because I was a kid and I had nothing to do and my batteries died on me. So <laughs> number six, again, echo effects. Um, for number six, I have to take you back real quick before I show you the figure that I have. So if you close your eyes, go back to 2012, maybe even a little bit before 2000. Um, but go back to a time when we were getting all the buzz and excitement for a new Ninja Turtles series on Nickelodeon. And I don't know about you, but I was in such a great headspace. I did not have, I had no doubts that the show was going to be amazing, which it ended up being pretty awesome. And I was just really excited to start getting some of these Playmate figures again. Um, I, it was before I had such disdain for them. So I was all giddy and excited inside. So I rush over to my local Toys R Us because, yes, Toys R Us still existed at that time. And I saw this guy. Now, this figure has nothing to do with the original, like, or the 2012 cartoon. But it signified something to me. Playmates was making a really cool, like, OG style figure with the blend of, like, a little bit of mirage in there but i thought oh my god we're about to get some amazing toys this has nothing to do with the cartoon and i loved it because that was kind of the same idea for the turtles line back way back in like 89 is they released the figures didn't really look too much like the cartoon did and later they started to make figures to to kind of you know get kids excited but this thing right here is so cool and this is again even though it was in the 2000s, this was still peak Playmate. I just wish that, sadly, after these figures, they turned into play hate. Hey, I'm going to coin that term because that means they hate us. Just remember that. But yeah, this is so awesome. It's so rad. The detailing of everything, the bandages has this like cr cuts on it. His thighs, his arms all have like veins and deep details the shell i picked this one specifically because i love it has the crack on there of uh, getting that in frame 
again, nice flowy bandana, which I always love from the turtles. And then give me turtle teeth all day with a grin, and I'm I'm pretty happy with that. But that's a really great facial expression that he's rocking on there. Um, I do have the accessories for this. I just want to point it out. So I don't get any hate in the comments, but yeah, this one was so so exciting for me. I'm almost curious, like if you do want to reply in the comments and let me know, were you expecting the figures to not look like the cartoon if you were like looking forward to these at the time? Because that was so random to me. But I loved it. I loved it. I really did. Sorry, Playmates. Why did you have to do me so dirty afterwards? <laughs> I do have to mention this because the reason why I hate Playmates, they took this mode that I love so much and repeated and repeated and repeated and just spray paint random spots just to make it a new figure. And it hurt me so much because this was such a cool figure and such a cool sign. And they said to hell with me. So whatever. All right. Let's go on to some less depressing news. We are in the top five right now. And at this point, you're going to see a big explosion. You're going to see top five. And then you'll see like a Ninja Turtle do a front flip and some stuff like that. And that'll be really cool. Again, Michael's going to do all of that because he's our producer and our leader at this channel. But now that we are on that, we're on top five. And top five is one of a few of my figures that I actually have on card. Although I wish I had this loose because it's such a fun and odd looking thing. And that is... The, I got to pull back now. Oh, there we go. No, so no glare, no glare. Okay. This is the Star Trek chef, <laughs> chef I was going to say, uh, chief medical officer. Um, this is another one. Property wise, I was more of a Star Trek or Star, uh, Star Wars guy. So Star Trek, I kind of understand a little bit. And I've watched some cool things. Like I like Discovery a lot. But um, I didn't really have an attachment to Star Trek. To me, this is just one of the weirdest and strangest things that I could imagine Ninja Turtles would have did a crossover with. Also, outside of Universal line, this is like one of the really only other things that they had did in this, at this time. So this is really, really neat. It, again, embodies peak playmates. I should probably coin that phrase as well. But if you can kind of get, and I'm pretty sure there's like a, another photo here or here or something like that that you can see better details. because. You see all that glare. But what I really like about this figure is when the, when they do like a Ninja Turtle with a crossover or anything, or even just any specific theme, they go all the way in. So all the details start to make sense, why he's wearing red. Like they don't hold back at all. And I, I appreciate him for that. I really, really do. Just a shame that that all went down the drain in the future. Uh, but Look at that. You have the R on his like little Star Trek emblem. If you can, there's no way my camera is going to show you that. Uh, the one thing that I think is really odd with this, because the photo that you're probably seeing shows something that is missing on this that would have made this figure even higher on my list. There's no soul patch here. And then I looked at it and I'm like, okay, well, I'm looking at the back of the box. On the back of the box there, you can see. No soul patch. And then you can kind of see on the mini comic a little bit. No soul patch. No soul patch. Why does that one have one? And so now I need to know if there's a variant that I'm missing out on. And I did not discover that until putting together this list. So that's something I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on. But before I do that, let's fill you in with number four. Number four. Um, I don't have number four, and this is actually the most upsetting thing. As a, my collection has grown and blossomed into beautiful things, number four is a sumo turtle. There's two sumo turtles, so it should be easier because I don't have to get four, but there's only two, so it's actually harder. We have Michelangelo and we have Raphael. So I'm putting Raphael on this list because I didn't put him on, or I didn't do the sumo turtle on the Michelangelo one. So. This figure, I don't know if it's just because it's been so elusive or is it just because he's so damn cool. But this is, again, peak Playmates. Every time I say that, we'll just have it like pop across there as well, given a lot of direction. This video is going to be amazing after all the edits. But it's peak Playmates. And what I mean by that, again, is every single detail of this figure is so amazing. The large mass of him, because he's this big sumo wrestler, 
his show design like mirrors and echoes that the back of it looks so great too like the show as well um his little updo ponytail which is so awesome which is upsetting for me in most cases because even on ebay and other like third-party sites if i go to buy him it's still gonna cost me an arm and a leg and he's also missing that which is like that just takes away like a lot of the excitement for me to spend the money on that figure but um God, it's so amazing, and I just hope that one day I can add it into my my collection. And this one is definitely one I wouldn't have threw away the accessories because he has the little shoes, like the sumo wrestler shoes that he comes with, and it's just so awesome. It's such a great figure. I hopefully maybe just get a remake from like um, Super Seven or something like that because I'm not gonna spend three hundred dollars for it new on card, but maybe someday, maybe someday. But for now, I'll just put it on my top 10 at number four in hopes that one day I actually have it in my collection. So here's to, here's to you, Sumo Turtle, uh, Raphael, please just someday be in my collection. Oh, it just makes me so sad. I keep depressing myself on this and I don't know if that is my true intentions, but either way, we only have three left and number three this is actually a tough one. Actually, number two and number three went back and forth in my mind for a while now uh, be because I took a whole 24 hours to make this list. <laughs> That's how I do. I prep very, very fast. So anyways, number three, I decided to go with this one. And number three, just only really one real reason. And it'll make a lot of sense when I actually show you the figure. So number three is a part of the bodacious birthday line. And this guy here is Raph the Magnificent. And oh my God, like when again, I, I, I sound like a broken record and I apologize for this, but again, peak playmate, the detailing on this figure is just absolutely to die for because like, let's just go into it. So first of all, let's start in the back. Man's got a red cape, makes a hundred percent sense, right? But hanging from that red cape is his bird. And the bird has cards. It's just so cool. It's just a silly factor to this figure that made it so great. Uh, the cape is, I'm not going to pull it off, but I do believe it's removable. But around here, you have that. You got the bow tie. You have the silly mustache. He went with facial hair. Thank you for giving me my turtle's facial hair. That's all I ever want. <laughs> Again, cards up here at the top. Those two cards are the aces because they ace this figure. The other thing that you are probably not able to see, and in mine, you probably could see it because I'm missing a piece on this one. There is, of course, the rabbit in the hat. And again, Michael will have some cool 3D effects or something like that. Maybe he'll recreate this figure in CGI so you can see it in better detail. But um, yes, it is a rabbit holding the magic wand. It's so cool. It's absolutely amazing. This makes me like, every time I see this figure, it makes me happy. Mostly all of the figures in the Bodacia line or Bir Bodacia's birthday line is just awesome. We had Michelangelo as the clown and spoilers, you're probably going to see Leo next and there's probably going to be a turtle on that list as well, just because this is one of the lines that they just absolutely knocked it out of the park for each figure. So there you go. Let's go we'll look. Oh my God, we're at number two. Number two. Well, as I kind of suggested to earlier in the list, I absolutely love the Universal Monsters. And again, everything that we've gotten from there, even like the April figures were really cool. Like we have gotten some really, really cool figures with this crossover. And this one is none other then the mummy. Ooh, this is gonna be hard to show on my screen. But um I it just design just speaks for itself. This could easily have been number one on top of that, even though like these top three are just some of my favorite figures of Rav that they could have just easily just kind of shuffled around. And I went with number two on this one specifically for some other reasons, which will make much more sense at number one. But this again. <laughs> is peak playmates like the design of this figure i mean man this is you gotta imagine like this is what now 30 years ago is that how long it's been 
it's been so long but like this detailing or if you get something like this in a figure nowadays you're like wow they they killed it like they absolutely killed it and this is a child's toy with such great detail and someone back in the day when they were making this one was like yeah we, we got the bandages we're just gonna put it all together and then that one person in the room was like well, what if we made it glow and this fucking figure glows in the dark so every night when i leave out of my 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 turtle museum if you will this thing on my shelf just lights up and it makes me light up each time i look at it it's so awesome i'm actually extremely excited to get the one from NECA as well uh we'll see how that is i don't believe he glows so already kind of making me sad but yeah this is so awesome again bandaging hanging off it's just awesome that's really awesome and you have i don't think this is going to pick it up but i'll even try if you see the turtle he's has like a decayed like decrepit look to him as well so it's not even just wrap him in bandages and make him look like he's you know a mummy they really went that far on this toy so long ago that's just amazing it's amazing also i would love to see if anyone has this that's not in on card that's not dirty i'm almost kind of wanting to take a magic eraser to it but i'm not that brave so i'm just not that brave okay i used to do a podcast called why are you a gamer and why are you a gamer it was great. We had fun, answered a bunch of questions about your gaming habits. But then we got super serious when I asked, why are you a gamer? And now I'm going to get super serious for my number one pick. Uh, this figure, uh, it it's really cool. It's really amazing. Uh, I'm just going to show it. It's, it's Jim Lee's Tim and T rendition of the Turtles, right? Of course, you've probably seen this before. This may be the first time you've ever seen this figure. But for me, the design is cool, right? It's rad. He's huge. He's metal. I mean, it's it's like 90s personified, right? This figure to me has more than the design attachment. This figure is number one for me because like when I first saw this, again, I was one of the people who didn't even know this existed. And then when I heard that there is Jim Lee Turtles, uh, this is something I, I, I don't know, not people like, no, obviously, because I don't just run around saying that. But when I was young, my, my dad passed away when I was really young. And I thought it was like a predestined sign, if you will, for my turtle collection to have this in my, have all of these, actually, specifically because my dad's name was Jimmy and his last name was, or his middle name was Lee. And so, like, it, created this weird bond and attachment to this figure that is so ugly just god awfully ugly like my god what the hell but to me it was like having my dad a part of my collection with me and as cheesy as that sounds this will always be like these three turtles because they were you know never i never got the fourth one we never got leo I don't know if that's just a sign that, you know, it's not the greatest, but um, these turtles will always be with me, always be in my collection. I'll never let them go just because of that alone. I know that sounds so weird and so crazy, but in some weird way, this is just like my dad is a part of my collection and I know Jim Lee is an actual real person, uh, but to me, it's my dad and not, you know, the a famed <laughs> comic book artist so that's who we'll go with that but yeah i mean again just point out the figure he is fucking ugly and again to me that's really cool just because i like my turtles to be weird so weird and emotional attachment that's why this is number one while it will always probably be number one um it's just a great 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 story and great connection for me so I hope that wraps it up for you guys. And I hope you have some closure now. You know, you don't have to stress out anymore, worrying like what are the top five Raphael or top five, top 10 Raphael figures for the Playmates line. I have now settled this discussion for you. And there's obviously nothing that you could possibly say in the comments that would disagree with this, right? <laughs> of course not. So 
Um, make sure though, just to let me know if you do, because I would love to see what you guys would have on your list. And there's probably things that I'm missing. I know I don't have like the original turtles. There's some other things, but I want to keep this list really spicy. And also I want it to be different from everyone else's, which is why I want weird turtle. And that's kind of what you got this time. So I'm going to try and do this outro without screwing it up. But uh, make sure to let me know in the comments, which I already read. But you'll get to see more of these top tens if we get some great get engagement with them. And let's be honest, we're just going to do them anyways because I have two other turtles and I'm saving the best one for last. So definitely get really excited for that. you got to subscribe so you get to see that. But also make sure to follow us on Twitter, you know, Instagram and TikTok at Modern and Toy Fair. Don't forget, every Wednesday except for a few Wednesdays coming up here in the, the the near future, or maybe you're currently in that future. I don't know. I just stressed myself out at that. But every Wednesday when we are doing this at 10 o'clock Eastern, you can find us at twitch.tv forward slash modern toy fair with only figs, where we go over our weekly purchases and generally we get far off the rails. So if you want some to see what we bought, but also see, What's going on in all three of our minds? Definitely watch that show. Uh, links for all your accounts, or all of our accounts, will be in the description below. And hopefully, you'll see you next time. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, we see you. He said next week. I didn't write this. He said next week. How would I see you next week if my next top 10 doesn't come out for another month? I don't know. But we'll see you next time. Same toy time, same toy fair channel. Thank you for putting up with this video. <laughs>